Alright, welcome back. You're still watching Morning Live here on SABC News. And last week, Brand South Africa and Brand Finance Africa, a brand valuation and strategy consultancy, announced this year's table of top 50 corporate brands in South Africa titled Brand Finance South Africa 50. According to the list, MTN remains the most valuable brand despite losing 32% of its brand value due to some of its reputational challenges. Woolworths holds the strongest brand position with an increase of 21% in brand value. We talk now in our studio with uh, the chairman of Brand Finance Africa, uh, Tebe Igalafeng. Dr. Igalafeng, good morning and welcome to Morning Live. Thank you so much and good morning to you. Thank you so much for, for your time. Let us just get an understanding first. What is brand value and how is it determined? Is it based on the revenue, based on its presence? Well, uh, uh, brand value is really what the brand, not the company, mm -hmm. what the brand is worth. Okay. If Say in the, in the odd uh, circumstance where you say, I would love to sell my brand. What would that brand be? But the most, most important thing is to understand is what is the value of the asset on your balance sheet? Because the brand itself is an asset. It's what enables you as a company owner, as a business owner, to be able to, uh, to generate revenues, to be able to connect with customers, and to be able to, uh, to establish a reputation, as well as to be able to drive your shareholder value. All right. So uh, does a company have to be homegrown in order to make it to your list so it can be doing business it can be from another country but doing business in south africa well in the sa top 50 uh, we focus only on homegrown uh, south african brands uh. okay. so we scour the the l reports we go through uh, our listings we go through uh, just uh, analyst reports uh, to understand uh, the origins of the companies the values of the companies the revenues the companies generate and many other uh, input that we bring into the valuation all right. So how to launch our MTN is a bit is a hand. I mean, despite many challenges that it had to go through, the regulatory troubles it had in Nigeria as well as the market in South Africa. Well, M10 is a, is a preeminent uh, a South African or made in South Africa or made in Africa uh, brand. Uh, you know, despite those challenges, mm -hmm. it is still far above uh, uh, the next uh, challenger, which is Avodacom, its competitor in the South African yeah. market. I mean, uh, MTN comes in at 37 billion and, 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 and Vodacom comes in at 22 billion. So that's the gulf between the two brands. So while it lost 32%, it is still such a dominant brand, such a dominant uh, brand across the continent. That continental value or the continental presence has enabled the strength of MTN as well uh, in, in South Africa. Okay, and now let's talk about the new brands which actually made it to the top 50, like your Woolworths, with its product Country Road. Well, Country Road, is, isn't it interesting? Yeah. Uh, because Woolworths are, are bought, uh, are bought Country yeah. Road from Aust Australia, yeah. and and now Country Road is a South African brand, I it guess. Is, yeah. And uh, that's made it, uh, that's made it in, in, uh, into the list at, at number at number thirty one. And then you also have uh, a, a property company like Growth Point, yeah. uh, which made it at number fifty. And now remember this hundreds of brands in South Africa. And to get to this list, we went through 250. So to really make it uh, onto this list uh, shows the tremendous effort uh, and investment behind these brands. Mm, but w was it a difficult procedure to, uh, for you to go out, you know, uh, through this, what, how many, plus 200 lists? 250. Well, yeah. we've done this for over 30 yeah. years uh, across the world. Mm -hmm. I mean, brand finance has existed around the world uh, for over 30 years or so. We've done valuations of the queen, valuations of football teams, valuations yeah. of various countries. So we've got the experience on how to do this. So, uh, yes, it'll be, it'll be difficult if you don't know how to do it, but we've mm -hmm. done it in South Africa now for five years. This is the fifth year mm -hmm. uh, in a row. So we're pretty much familiar. And the other thing that you get to see as well is that there's generally very little movement uh, in, the, in the rankings of of the brands. I mean, in mm -hmm. this instance, uh, you've got two brands making it into the two, top 50. All right. So take us through the top 10. Well, in the top 10, you've got MTN at number yeah, one, yeah. Uh, and then it's Ravel and uh, 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 Borocom at, at number two. Then you've got Sassol. And I mean, Sassol is a petrochemical company, the, uh, the company that's reputed to have the, uh, the, the highest FDI into, uh, in, into America. Not necessarily a consumer brand, uh, but this just goes to show that uh, when you're looking at a brand, a brand is not necessarily just what the customers, uh, what your everyday customers or, uh, are, are talk about. It's also the what the corporates are, what the companies or the countries also engage with. You've got Standard Bank, uh, Star South African brand. Uh, you've got Woolworths number five, uh, most valuable. Also number five, strongest. Uh, also number one, strongest brand in, in, in South Africa. Then you've got FNB, Absa, NetBank. So the banks Investec, are making it big. The banks you look, are making it big. If you big. look at the yeah. list, uh, uh, 15 on the list are financial services. Yeah. Uh, so they, they always dominate. You know, financial services and telecoms and telecoms, all the telecoms are in the list. Uh, South African telecoms. I mean, the, the consumer telecoms are uh, mm. uh, Vodacom, Celsi, MTN, uh, uh, Telcom. Uh, they all, they all make, make the list. 
list. And, yeah. and those two uh, categories are very important because those are enabler categories. Because when those categories are functioning well, uh, yeah. the economy of a country is functioning well. Now, talking about telecom, you say a company like telecom has increased in brand value. But how does your list speak to the global ratings agency process that are seeking to put some of our institutions on, on, on review? Well, you know, the, the, the global uh, uh, rating agencies are not necessarily looking at the value of the companies, but looking, uh, they're looking at many other aspects of the company. They're looking at governance, for example. Uh, if, you, if you listen to some of the discussions around uh, whether it's the ESCOMs or whether it's any of the, uh, of the companies that have been under mm. review, uh, the focus has been really in terms of governance, in terms of uh, uh, viability, in terms of dependence on, the, on, on, on government. So that's really what they're looking for. They're not necessarily looking at the value of the company itself. All right. Now, quickly, why should other South Africans care about this, this list? Oh, we should care about this list because uh, if the top 50 companies uh, themselves, brands in this list themselves, account for 9% of the GDP of South Africa, yeah. just the 50 yeah. companies, 9% so of the GDP. But the, what the real importance is uh, these companies, if they're doing well, jobs are being created. Yeah. And if jobs are being created, poverty has been reduced and inequality has been reduced. We are achieving our national development plan if these companies are doing All well. All right. We need this because they are South Africa. Ah, unfortunately, that's where you're going to leave it. But thank you so much for your time. Absolutely. Really pleasure. There you have it. That's uh, Tebe Ikalafeng, the chairman for Brand Finance Africa, talking to us about Brand South Africa and Brand Finance Africa, Brand Valuation and Strategy Consultancy. Uh, they announced uh, this year's table of top 50 corporate brands in South Africa that is titled Brand Finance South Africa 50. What we take.